Hi everyone, um, today is Wednesday the 12th of February 2015 and I'm up to day 9 of vlogging. Um, thanks for everyone's responses yesterday. Um, I haven't had a chance because my internet went down last night to um, comment but um, I'll do that after this. Um, yeah, it, it's really interesting because I sat down yesterday and went, oh, I have nothing to say and then giving myself that space without going into my head in terms of pressuring myself to say something sensible. <laughs> um, something at the core of me that drives me and that I'm fascinated with sort of came out to play and to, to talk about and, um, it, you know, it seems that that's resonated with other people, which is great um, because it just energises my thoughts around it more. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I realise I'm not very consistent and hence my word for the year is discipline. Um, and a couple of vlogs ago I said my plan was every morning to check in um, and just say where I'm at. And I didn't do that yesterday, I completely forgot. So um, first of all, I had a very frustrating morning this morning. Um, and it all started with me <laughs> that I didn't go to sleep until probably close to quarter to one this morning. Um, and that was because I was painting and I was just in the flow and lost and absorbed and it, painting kept calling back to me to do more to it. And anyway, so I woke up um, already grumpy and then my middle son six times asked him to sit at the table for breakfast and he didn't and I was getting more worked up. And then another three or four times I asked him to get in his school clothes and he didn't. And then my husband had the idea to tell the boys to come out on the street because the Google Earth car, the little van or whatever that drives around with that weird planet-shaped camera on its roof, which I've never seen before, um, does its updates of Google Earth maps. And so he's in our, well, it's in our town at the moment. I don't know how many of them there are, but anyway, it was a bit exciting, a bit, bit different, and Hubby thought, yeah, the boys will love it, which they did, but he then toddled off to work, and do you think I could get the kids in the car to go to school? No. And I had to go from my other youngest son's parent-teacher interview class meeting this morning for 9 o'clock as well, and I just lost it lost the plot a bit and yelling, didn't care that my neighbours would listen to me not being the nice, sweet, mild-mannered mother that um, they think I am, that I try to be. Um, and I just, yeah, I yelled at my middle son and he was in tears when we drove to school and I just, I feel like crap, I feel bad. And um, anyway, so that's how I am. And because I'm tired, some darker thoughts Darker not as in like I'm going to go and do something mad, but darker in that there's a heaviness and there's a weight and they're negative. They're just negative thoughts. Um, whereas when I went to bed last night, I was so amped and so grateful and so full of joy and um, because I loved my oh, because I loved my girl that I created. Have a look at her. Oh, she. I just um, I just love her and she's speaking to me. And do you know what? When I started to create last night, because it was the first time I put my camera on, um, I was it was crap what I was doing. I was just going with the flow, didn't have any structure, and I thought, oh, nothing's going to come out of this. And to move through that process and stick with it and then have something that just makes you feel joyous and happy, um, she excited me. I've called her Spirit Wanderer, and um, I might talk about her tomorrow, about um, where she came from. Um, well, I've lost my train of thought because I'm tired, so this is what happens. Um, yeah, so I, I just, I start to judge myself and flog myself for staying up late and how do I think I can be an effective mother and go through my day and be even tempered and all that sort of thing. I'm staying up late, but oh my God, the draw card of creating and doing that sort of thing, it just find it very hard to resist <clears throat> and it nurtures my spirit and my emotions and soul and and that but it doesn't serve me if I do it too often so that's why I'm feeling a bit out of kilter and I'm not in my power so I'll come back to that uh what I was talking about yesterday about 
um, inhabiting our energetic space. So case in point, when you're tired, um, I would say that you want to about like a narrow core, core that goes through and we have the choice of expand. Oh, it's gone brighter. Um, I can see my eyebrows are all skew with. Um, that when you're tired, it does something else to your energetic core space. I think it, um, I would, I would normally say healthy, healthy, I don't know if that's the right word, but anyway, on a, on a well-rested day, when you're safe, when you're on your path and on track and you're in flow and you're in that balance or homeostasis of just physically and everything, um, I liken the, the, um, our energetic bodies to be like a wave of um, pulsating or undulating um, waves that start off in our core and our center and you know radiate out um, around us and it it might come out to here in my body it might come out to my shoulders in my body or if I have the energy and my heart is open it will reverberate off me and out and people will feel it and you'll know when you're in that it'll feel good it will be mutually enjoyable <laughs> to, to be around and to be in you um and so when we're tired I don't think that undulating um pulsating happens I think it's I don't know what it is I mean I don't even know if what I'm saying is a whole load of crock um, but somewhere it sits right with me. But I get the feeling when you're tired that that um, energetic movement is, it's not a fluid movement. It's its maybe more stagnant. It's maybe more cogwheel. It's got, uh, 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 um, or I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to ponder on that one a bit more. Um, so, yeah, the tiredness comes in there um, and, and impacts on it. And, of course, then your thoughts. And then your thoughts also limit that radiating out um, keeps it contained. It keeps you small, I think, or narrow. Um, you can't be expansive with it. Um, and oh, just some of the comments yesterday made me think about what it is that can expand our energetic body and make it broader. And um, I know from personal experience the periods in my life where my energetic body and energy has or has has just tumbled out of me is on the birth of my children um I don't think you can go through a process like childbirth without it uh uncontrollably impacting on your emotions so I don't think even if you try to use your willpower to con stay controlled well actually that brings me to another whole story about my first son um about controlling emotions and leading up to cesarean but I won't go into that but um your heart's cracked open you feel and hubbies you know the looks on their faces it's it's who their core you see it in their face at that time of wonder and miracle because their heart has cracked open they are feeling um they are they're allowing emotion in they're they're receptive to other people's emotions and heart response and they're also letting their own heart response come out and be expressed. So I think that at moments like that, your energetic body just is just out wide beyond your body. Um, it's like this is joyous and you want to invite everyone into that joy and babies have that transformative type impact on us anyway. And um, so if you can get hold of a baby <laughs> um, at any time, and, you know, it's almost something you can practice. Like if, if you were nurturing a baby to look at it and um, allow your heart to communicate with that baby's heart and your eyes to communicate with that baby's heart and see them and let them see you and feel what it is you feel in your heart, that, that love, and let the warmth kind of fall out of you like, through your chest and beyond so you're projecting and it's a little bit like Reiki that the love and the compassion and warmth you have in your heart um, you can give it to that child you can almost um, you can feel it you can kind of sort of pump it out of your heart and say here have this love I have for you right now that I feel in waves 
and envelope them in it and it's an intention and it's a feeling and it's you use your thought to keep doing it um, for longer periods and um, <clears throat> I think that keeps our energetic body wide and open and it also um, allows people to come into our energetic body and it, I think it allows them to expand theirs to meet yours as well so you're kind of gifting it's like pay it forward of energetic bodies um, gifting other people to open theirs and I think we're all doing that in this vlogging process um, and it's amazing that technology and something where you know it's we're not in each other's space but we're we're, we're still communicating something and um, I'm going to go off on a tangent here but Deepak Chopra, I never say his name right, um, last year when you know the world was all in turmoil and, and there was a lot of things going on and there was a lot of fear and it was being conveyed through Facebook and other social media, he uh, was part of a worldwide um, meditation for peace and uh, all of us millions I think of people got on um, and meditated at the same time with the intention of sending out love and it works it does work and and um, and I think that as a universal intention we can shift a lot of things by uh, opening our hearts um, so yeah that I suppose that was one of them and um, you know, looking in your lives when there's numerous opportunities to open our heart and meditation is a tool. Um, I don't like the word meditation. It doesn't describe it properly and it, it detracts from what it really is and and it people, I think, because of the word meditation, label it and then think they can't do it. But we all, we're living being, breathing beings and um, what, what the process in meditation is is all within our grasp and ability and it's so so simple and maybe I could do a meditation and talk you through one or something uh, as part of a vlog but anyway um yeah and that and other times that energetic bodies expand is when we feel compassion and again we're doing that constantly with our vlogging um of hearing each other's stories and you know I've heard a couple of stories this week and and I felt an intake of my breath and a, and a voice in my head going, no, 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 like just of um, compassion and my heart opening to that person and going, I so feel for you that you had that experience and I wish, I'm getting teary because I'm tired and my heart is open. <laughs> um, I wish I could take that pain and suffering away, but um, I think it's enough that people can hear the story and feel their compassion for for you and for your experiences and um, in doing that their energetic body is coming out and it's banging into the screen and it's coming to you and, and you're receiving it and I'm receiving it and we're all receiving it from each other. Um, <clears throat> I can't believe I'm sitting here talking to a screen and getting emotional <laughs> but it's um it's it's we can practice being more flexible with those, moving in and out of that heart space. It's, it's something that we can just choose to say to, my, to say to myself, I'm going to let my heart open. And if you can quickly connect <clears throat> at any time with when you had the birth of a child um, or any open heart, open heart, or heart open experience of compassion, just recall. It's enough to just recall that time or those times and then, remember the feeling of your heart and and do it again and it, it will open you immediately it will open you and it will shift your energetic space um broader um so there's there's yeah there's that um and then joy like living and doing your joy or um <clears throat> um i kind of combine the two but experiencing joy so whatever gives you joy is a heart open and then an energy expansive type um, experience um, so again like think of the things that give you joy and um, happiness and delight where you kind of want to be like a kid and clench fish and stamp your feet and go Woo I'm loving this and um, and so just at, at any time recall that that feeling and we can sort of empower ourselves to empower others so if somebody's suffering um, silently recall the time when your heart's cracked open through love 
through compassion, through your joyful experience, and then keep in that heart place and space and um, offer it out to the person that's suffering around you. And, um, my God, it's so profound, that experience, because you feel amazing, you feel wonderful, and yet you're making someone else feel wonderful as well. Um, <clears throat> and then the other thing, I mean, it's my personal love and and this is the gift that keeps on giving and I'm so grateful that um, it, it happened for me a few years ago again with, with my art, is creativity. So when we're in a creative space and in the flow, our energetic bodies expand out again um, because of all those reasons that we um, are feeling joy, we're feeling um, compassion, we feel it, we're allowing emotions to come out through being creative and creative acts of art you know making of any type um singing dance listening to music and music is so so powerful for allowing our energy um body to expand and you know i think about my teenager at concerts and that sort of stuff they feel alive because the music has opened them up and they've allowed their energetic body to come out and dance and pulsate with everybody else's and it's liberating it's freeing um, yeah, and I mean, I'm sure there's heaps of other things that I, I can't think of right now that open up your energetic body, but I think the key, f <clears throat> some of those things like music and, and dancing is like, um, an incidental occurrence, if you like, that sometimes we don't realize it's doing it to us, but we know we feel good. But, um, one of the ways to um, intend to expand your energetic space is uh, self-love and acceptance. And I think through doing art and making things and, and having the opportunity to sit back as an observer of our thoughts and ourselves and separate from ego and our persona um, and allow a subconscious to come through, there's all that healing, layers of healing going on and in the process we're learning to, um, we're exploring self, who we are and we're becoming more connected with it, who we are in our souls and understanding self and I think at some point we're able to um, let our egos rest for long enough to come to a place of self-acceptance and love um, and that is the key to energy expanding as well because you can um you yeah if you if you're not accepting yourself or you're pushing your thoughts pushing things away or pushing yourself away from you such as self body image stuff or self hatred or or that sort of thing about like you know I've done it all through my life around weight and those not good enough thoughts or whatever um it, it, it contains us, it keeps us small, so we're boxed in and our energetic body will stay with that. But when we go, you know, I'm a big girl and it's okay because I've got all these other beautiful qualities in me and I've now recognised and people have told me I have them and I can see them now and I go, yeah, I do love myself. Um, not in an ego way, obviously, but... Um, there's a there's a melting inside that goes on that can only let your energetic body expand and and radiate out and go yeah I'm I'm all of me I'm from from my inside to my skin and from my head to my toe and I'm here I'm I'm here I'm owning me and I'm happy with me and I think yeah energetic body can then fill up that whole space and it doesn't retract all the way in unless there's you know another occurrence of a trauma or something like that that um you know will pull us back into safety and fear mode but your subconscious has already been expanded so you will come back out again quicker i think um but once you come to that you know hopefully everything's just secure and stable in life and you've come to that self-acceptance and fully inhabited your space then you can go to that other level of um and i don't mean level in terms of you know, competitiveness, but just your own personal experience and journey. And we're all going to do it at different times and we're all going to take a few steps back and come forward again. But you can then play with the edges of your energetic body and expand on it. And that's what I'm fascinated with. And I'm, I'm so excited about learning more about that. 
this has gone to 20 minutes and this is my longest vlog ever so i'm gonna go see ya <laughs>